Hello there! How are you doing today? Okay, as you've probably guessed by the title of this video, I want to talk about that most wonderful feature YouTube has, the demonetization bot. That most wonderful bot that they have that seems to be there to do the work for their staff, or rather, not make them have stuff that they don't feel that they need. At least that's the impression I've wound up getting uh, more recently with it. I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. But what it's supposed to do, and what it actually ends up doing, are basically two somewhat different things here. Now, the chances are, if you watch YouTube videos, you're probably well aware of what this demonetization bot is. If you don't watch YouTube videos, but you are watching this because you've seen a link to it on some other site somewhere, I'll just give you a brief overview. If you are a YouTube content creator, if you are a YouTuber, and obviously you upload your videos to YouTube, you may not necessarily have them go live straight away. You do have, in some cases, the option to um, set the time and date that you want your video to go on, or you could just leave it set to private until you decide to uh, to actually change that, to release it to the wider public in general, uh, and let everybody view your work. Now, what this bot does, sometimes, once you've uploaded your video, it will either review your video straight away, or it won't. And if it hasn't reviewed your video at that point, then it might review it once you make it go live. Or it might not. It might be a couple of hours later after that. However, when it does review your video, you don't get any kind of warning about it. You don't get any kind of email. Or at least I've never gotten any email. You don't get any kind of uh, update on your YouTube account. You don't get any private message saying that your video has been, been demonetized. You have to go into your own creator settings to actually go and double check that everything's okay. That's the only way you're going to find out about it. But what it does, it basically checks over the content of your video, it looks over your keywords, your thumbnail, the images in your video, what you yourself are saying, and so and so, uh, so, and so forth. That's roughly how it works. And it then decides, based on whatever rules and regulations it has, um, it then decides whether or not you have broken any rules regarding uh, monetization f features, whether you are advert friendly or not. And it'll demonetize your video. Now, at that point, you can. Once you have discovered that your video has been demonetized, you can then put in a manual review claim. And invariably, what normally happens in most cases is somebody in YouTube will actually go in and watch your video. They say that it will do it after you've had a thousand views or something like that, but I've, I don't get a thousand views of my videos. My content is rarely seen by anyone because, uh, well, if you look at my at any of my videos, you'll see that uh, I'm lucky if I get videos that go past three figures. Yeah, that's how competitive things are. That's how disinterested people are in my videos. I don't know, because I don't really get that much in the way of comments, to be honest. Uh, but besides, that's beside the point. Let's get back on subject here. You can make your request, and it will get reviewed at some point. I've only had about five videos, I think, that I've put requests in for reviews, and those reviews either haven't happened or it's been found that it's not actually, you know, for, for whatever reason, it d doesn't meet the rules and regulations that YouTube have set down. You don't actually get told either way whether you've been ac accepted or not accepted. You don't get any kind of email confirmation of that either or any private message about that. You just have to go into your settings and see whether or not it has actually been remonetized or not. And the thing is, once you've put the request in, you can't cancel it and sort it again. It's, you know, it's set like that. Now, as you might might have thought at this point, the vast majority of views a video is going to get are probably going to be within about twenty four hours of its uh, of it going live. So that basically means anybody who is relying on any kind of ad revenue isn't going to get that ad revenue because. It's not retroactively reapplied. You can't put the adverts back on onto, the, say, the first thousand views when those first thousand views didn't have any kind of ads on them in the first place. It's very bizarre in that regard. And that, that basically means that three different groups suffer in that regard. The content creator suffers because they don't get any ad revenue. 
YouTube suffers because they don't get any ad revenue, and the actual advertisers suffer because their product doesn't get seen by anybody, or doesn't get seen by as many people as it could. Now that does mean that they sp spend less money on their advertising budget, but that means YouTube, who are obviously relying on some of this money to you know, run their own organisation, and from, from what I understand, YouTube is a loss-making company for Google. Uh, they've never been able to really make as much money as perhaps they could, um, but that's something for them to obviously sort out and f figure out. I've got a couple of ideas on, on that myself, but that's not the point of this video. And obviously, if YouTube isn't making any money, then the content creator can't make any money either. So, I think, to be brutally fair, everyone is well aware that this bot is broken. I've heard other rumours about this. Other people have found out that... Um, other people have found out that when a video has been demonetized and when it has been reviewed by somebody on YouTube, there's then some code added into it. If it is monetizable, there's then code put into the videos. The video is effectively tagged by YouTube so that it doesn't actually show up in the recommended videos. So that particular video that's been demonetized and remonetized will not show up as a recommended video for some bizarre reason. And if this is true, YouTube needs to consider why they're doing that, because surely promoting videos that they know are advertiser-friendly and therefore could make ad revenue for them, surely it's not a good idea to stop those videos from being able to get found more easily? Surely? Surely? The other thing that I've heard, this hasn't happened to me, but the other thing I've heard is that the bot supposedly learns from its mistakes. So presumably somebody from YouTube uh, who has remonetized a video then goes and puts in some sort of update or puts a request for an update to go in to make the bot understand that this particular video was okay. But some people are reporting that videos that have been initially demonetized, then reviewed and remonetized have then, by the bot itself, been demonetized again. Yeah. The bot isn't learning, is it? So, I have a potential solution. If YouTube wants this bot to learn, that's fine. If they want to use this bot to its full potential, that's fine. But let's have this bot just be used as a sort of spotter, so to speak. If it thinks that a video is unsuitable for monetization purposes, or if it otherwise breaks some other rules that YouTube has, that means it shouldn't be uh, promoted, such as a video that's promoting hate speech and terrorism, for example, that's fine. Let the bot mark the video, let it flag the video, but don't let it demonetize the video. Instead, what the bot then does is it passes the video's details onto an actual human who will then review it and see whether or not it has broken any rules. That way, if the video is perfectly innocent of any wrongdoing, that way the advertiser's ads get seen, YouTube gets some AdSense uh, revenue, and the content creator gets some AdSense revenue. If it turns out that the video is not appropriate, if it does actually break some rules and regulations, that means it shouldn't be monetized. That's fine. The ads get stopped straight away. And any monies paid in that regard then get refunded to the advertiser. If it turns out that the video also breaks rules regarding things like hate speech, terrorism and so on and so forth, things that ultimately should be censored for whatever reason, then that's fine. Then the video can be taken down as well at the same time. And that information can then all be fed into the YouTube bot's programming, into its code, so that it can actually take that into account. So, that's my recommendation. One simple thing, one simple thing that they could do to change and unbreak this stupid little bot that they're insisting on using. Of course, the other alternative is that they could hire some staff to review the videos. That would actually be far more helpful in general, as far as I'm concerned, but... Hey ho, what do I, I know? I'm just somebody on YouTube who produces video content. And not enough to actually really make any money uh, either at this point. Anyhow, 
What? YouTube insists that we should say at this point is the usual comment, rate, like, subscribe and so on and so forth. What I would say instead, yes please comment, tell me your own thoughts, what your own opinions are below because obviously I'm not psychic, I can't read your minds, but I would like to know what other people think. And please share this video out, I want this video to go as viral as possible if at all and hopefully get to the attention of YouTube because if they see it, hopefully, maybe, it'll actually get seen by somebody in YouTube who can actually authorise a change like this. And if that change like this can be made to the bot, that would make everybody's lives a damn sight easier, I think. So come on YouTube, think about it. This does make sense. What I am saying makes sense. Reprogram the bot so that it just flags the videos, doesn't demonetize them, and then it gets reviewed properly by somebody who can actually make a decision properly, unlike a bot. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.